Ball Fun Fact. Did you know that baby squirrels are often called pups or kittens? Well, now you know. It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Hi, welcome to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry, Fall Time Edition. It's Nature Walk Week on Draw Time, so we're drawing things that you might see if you went on a nature walk. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a squirrel. So let's get started. It's time to draw. I'm going to start with a the head, the shape for the head. And so I'm going to make not quite an oval, not quite a circle. It's more of a like an egg shape. About like this. You want to have room up above because we're going to be putting the tail back here and we want room for it to stick up above just a little bit. Start with this left ear or the ear on the left side. I guess it's the squirrel's right ear. A shape like that. And then I'm going to attach that to the the head here in the back. It's going to kind of curve right like that. Okay, over here on the other side, draw the shape for the inside of the ear, the front of the ear, just like that. And then I'm going to attach it in the back here to the head also. It's going to slide down just here just a little bit below the top of the head and then it's going to curve around like this. Then I can erase inside of that where it overlaps the back part of the shape that we made for the head. Opening here and then some curved lines inside the ear. Just like that. Okay, the squirrel's eye is going to go right about here and it has a the eye pretty well fills the eye socket, the pupil of it. And around that I want to put, like I said, the eye socket. So I'm going to make just like a little curved shape that goes around just like that. See very little white here in the corner. And we're going to shade this in. I want to put a little bit of a highlight back here. So I'm going to make an, kind of an oval shape in the back towards the top. And then I'm going to shade around that and make it darker around that. You can also make a, a thin line above and below, like the eyelids, just like that. Not so much a below, but mainly above, you see that. Come an eyelid. Okay, out front here, I want to put the nose, and I'm going to make like a little V right here. And then a line that goes curves underneath like this. And the mouse going to be he's going to be eating a acorn, so it's going to be overlapping this the nut here. So I'm going to curve that here, and then we'll see the nut sticking out in just a minute. So we don't want to do that yet. Um, we're going to have a little bit of the the cheek over here curved around like that. Okay, let's kind of figure out how the shape for the body will look. I'm going to start right here at the base of the the head where then attaches to the body and make a kind of a curved shape. It's kind of he's kind of hunched over eating this acorn. So I'll make a curve there. And the and then on this side I'm just going to kind of sketch in where the body will go. Something like this. And let's kind of rough in where the 
hands and arms will go. I'm going to start with the hands. When I'm holding this, and it's going to have individual figures, but I'm going to start off making it kind of like a mitten here. Just the whole hand in one shape. So just very lightly. And then from the other side we have the other hand which will become fingers as well. Okay, so like that. And then the arm's going to curve down. And go back up here like this. And on top, it's going to follow the top curve and slant a little bit wider. And then go up about like that. Now the squirrel I'm drawing today is made up of a, a composite of a couple pic different pictures I've found of squirrels. Um, if you go out on a nature walk, you might want to take your camera with you just in case. It's, it may be hard to, to find one right away, but if you have the camera ready, you might be able to get a good picture of a squirrel. So a, a camera is a good thing to take on a nature walk. Okay, I'm going to make a curve right here. This is the inside of the tail and then the other side we'll do these lines lightly also because we're going to make this individual hairs here in a minute as well so the other one's going to curve up here and then go around and then go behind this part right here maybe not quite that wide Okay, something like this. And again, this all needs to be light because we'll change that to individual hairs here in, a, in just a minute. Okay, he's got a, a haunch here for his leg, the inside of his back leg. And the back side just kind of goes into the back of the body here. There is a change in coloration about where off of the end of the arm here, the inside of the arm that curves around back here. So you might sketch a light line there. And the other side, there's a little bit of that that goes on, but we don't see as much from this angle. Okay, you could put a, a leaf here to cover up the feet if you're not comfortable drawing the feet, but I'm going to show you how to draw the feet today. And I'm going to start with they're kind of long compared to the hands. I'm going to start by drawing this, the foot on this side, the left foot on the right side. So I'm going to make a long line that slants up and then curves around this direction. And then I'm going to start back here to start to make, they have in, these individual toes on the, on the feet as well. So I'll curve back for that. And then there's one next to it right here and we'll see more of it because it's closer to us and it'll slant back so far where the the toes start right here like that okay and then we're gonna see one other toe sticking out over here that's overlapped by the the middle toe there So we're just gonna draw three on this one here today okay and then the bottom of the foot starts here and goes back this direction and the fur is going to kind of cover up the the back of the foot here okay so that's that one and then the other one sticking out I'm gonna start just a little bit higher here here's the bottom of the foot it may fan out start off narrow and get a little bit wider as it goes the top of the foot it's gonna slant up and we'll start do the middle toe like we did before and then a one on this side of it, connect with what we've got, something like that, and then one sticking out on the other side. I'll make that just a little higher. Okay, each of these toes will have claws on the end of them so they can grip the tree as they're climbing and running along 
Okay, so something along those lines. I'm going to change this just a little. Go a little higher with it. Okay. All right. Next, I want to go back in and rough in the acorn. So I'm going to make it stick down below the two paws here, the two hands. And then it's going to start on the top side and it's going to go to the mouth, curve to the mouth. And this doesn't have the cap on, it's already off the, the cup or the top of the acorn. So he just has the nut that he's chewing on there. It goes up, overlaps this left side of the cheek, and then comes behind this part, overlaps the nut. It sticks out from there. Okay, now I need to go back and make these individual fingers. Um, this shape was a lot easier to draw than just as a curve back here, but I don't need the inside for right now where it attaches to the arm. So I can erase that. And then I'm going to make individual little fingers here. There's the second finger. Here's the first sticking out behind it. Another one. And this outside curve, that's about how long they should be. That's what that it's like a guideline to show you show you how big it should be. And a little pinky sticking off right here. Okay. You can do the same thing from the other angle. These are going to curve a little bit more though. Here's the first finger. The second one will overlap that and curve on out past the end. And then we'll curve around like that. Here's the first one. Next one, maybe a little bit shorter. And then the last one just kind of hanging on the end. Like that. Okay, on the end of the fingers there's little claws so you can color in what you have or extend it just a little bit if you need to. Okay. And there's a little bit of the this arm hanging down over here on this side, just like that. Again, do it kind of lightly because that will change the fur here in just a little bit. Okay, I think I want to reshape this back side before we do the fur. I'm going to make it just stick out just a little bit more. Maybe a little more fur there. Okay, now it's time to go back and we're going to add texture to the, the squirrel. We're going to make it look like the fur is there. So I'm going to, you can do what I'm doing here. I'm just going to raise this top part of the head a little bit so that I can barely see the edge there. I still want to be able to see that edge, but I don't want it to be so dark that that stands out. So I'm going to go back in now and make some individual hairs. I'm going to start from the top and go down and just make them go like that. You can go either direction, but you have individual hairs that stick out. And by doing it this way, it does make it look more like fur than just a if you have a sharp line that goes just straight across. So just little lines along the end like that and you can keep that going around the back here. We're going to race where the head attaches to the body about this much. Oh, something else we need to do before we continue with the fur is to make the other side of the mouth, the, this end of the mouth, it's going to curve up and make a little curve down just like that. Try that again here like that. Maybe just a little bit of like it's open here right next to the nut. I think I'll reshape that just a little too. Okay, I'll raise this part here. I'm going to go up above and curve around and make a little curve here like a jowl, like a jaw. Okay. 
Now I'm going to add the fur here on the back and this time it's going down. Little lines going along the edge here. Again I can erase just so I can barely see the outline. Go back and redraw individual little lines for the fur. You can also kind of scratch back and forth and get the same type of effect. Okay, hands are kind of smooth here, but then the arms will do the same thing. We'll just, I'm going to leave these lines here and just kind of make short ones over it. So you can see how it looks doing it in a little different way. Okay, the underside though, I want to race that a little bit and make individual hair for the fur around the sticking out the bottom. Okay. I think I want to go ahead and shade this nut in. Just using the end of the pencil. Okay, the other elbow on this other side. Little short hairs. And this I'm going to add some extra hair and make it darker under here because there is shadow on this part. It's all dark. So just filling this space with little lines to make it all like fur. Might have to go back and re-outline the, the acorn just to be able to make sure you see the, the difference there between the fur and the acorn. Where that one ends and the other starts. Then along the front I'm going to add little fur line to the edge there. And I'm going to curve this around like this. Okay, I want to add along the inside of the back leg here, add a line of fur along there. This is just going to be a difference in color, so I'm not going to do as much there. Alright, so this is most of the body. Let's do the tail. Now, same kind of thing. I want to leave enough of the line so I can see where where the edge is. We're going to go past the edge when we draw. I still see this curve, but I don't want so much that that's all you see is the curve. So these hairs are a lot longer. So we'll make longer lines that curve around the edge. And on this side they go down. Gives them the fuzzy tail effect there. And same thing here on the inside. See a little bit of this S curve here. I'm going to make the lines, the hairlines go out this direction. Because that's mainly coming from this direction on the tail. Okay, I can go back in and, and fill that in. The ones on the left side, the hairs go left, and on the right side, the middle they kind of go up, and the right side they go right. Okay, now when I get to this edge, I, it's darker back behind, so I want to shade just a little bit along the edge of this so I don't lose the edge of the tail there. Let's see, it curves out this way, so I want to make it like that. Okay, and then these hairs will go around like this. So you get a little bit of shadow where this this part is flipping over to the back. There should be a little bit of shadow there. Now 
Now you can use color on this and if you do you need to look at a color picture when you do it. Get the right colors. Okay, here's the that's the tail. Now I want to go ahead and shade some things in. I'm gonna let's see, let's start up here. I'm gonna shade inside the ears just a little bit. Okay, the fur there's a difference in color between the top part of the face and around the mouth. So I'm gonna make kind of a light edge there and then I'm gonna shade with the side of the pencil above that. I want to shade the top part of the face. Just like that. And I want to shade with the end of the pencil a little bit inside the nose, top of the nose. Alright. Some shading on the arm with the side of the pencil. along the back behind this line here. Okay, and I'm going to do a little bit under the arm just where there's the arm overhangs the body. It's not necessarily a color difference in the color of the fur, it's just where there's some shadow where the arm is. So a little bit under there. And I want to do a little bit down here on the feet, right under where the, the body hangs over the feet. A little bit right there. And the feet are going to be a little, uh, they're going to shade them in like I did this fur here. So you use the end or side of the pencil and shade in the feet. Okay, right now our squirrel is sitting kind of in the middle of nowhere. Make some darker lines around the edge of the body here. I want to make it look like he's sitting on a branch, so I'm going to draw just a, it doesn't have to be a straight line, just a line along here. This is the edge of a branch, and then I want to draw the bottom edge of the branch, like this. And then you can do some random lines for the bark, and then shade it in. Use the side of the pencil again. put some shadow underneath him. Okay, I want to add some extra hairs here on the body just very lightly. Uh, squirrels have these really long whiskers. So just draw some light whiskers across. Alright, clean up your drawing. Erase any stray lines. Add color if you'd like. And this is our drawing for today, a squirrel. Well, now that you know how to draw a squirrel, take some time and go outside and find something else to draw. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back again. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. That's beautiful. Here, squirrely, 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 squirrely.